It's very possible that some kind of prototype of the SR-72 already exists. Right behind me is the real-life Dark Star aircraft. The, uh, our, our own pursuit of uh, hypersonic capabilities uh, is, is real, um, it's tangible, and, and, and we are absolutely working uh, towards being able to develop that capability. The U.S. has been trying to remain one step ahead as a global superpower since the end of World War II. They have many classified military projects that have resulted in huge jumps forward in innovation, like Operation Paperclip or the Manhattan Project. Another project like this has been the Dark Star, a piece of technology so far advanced past what we've known it is almost alien technology. This project is a marvel of engineering and innovation, creating an aircraft that defies the laws of physics. It combines the latest technology technology and aerospace design, creating a powerful machine the world has never seen. It's not just a fighter jet, it's a sci-fi masterpiece equipped with futuristic weapons. It's so advanced that most people don't believe it's real. Join us as we discuss how the Pentagon just confirmed that the Dark Star is real. Dark Star, the secretive ultra-fast jet supposedly being developed for the U.S. military, may have gotten another shred of confirmation that it actually exists. Lockheed Martin, the aircraft manufacturer, recently posted a tweet that was part of a series of posts celebrating the movie Top Gun Maverick, which gained popularity in 2022 and received several Academy Awards nominations. The movie featured a fictional SR-72 Dark Star aircraft, which was depicted as a hypersonic stealth plane capable of flying at Mach 10. In their tweet, Lockheed Martin mentioned the SR-71 Blackbird, which is known as the fastest crewed air-breathing jet aircraft. In a tweet posted on March 12th, Lockheed shared an image of the Dark Star aircraft ominously bathed in red light. With the message, to celebrate, we are sharing some Maverick-worthy images of real aircraft Hashtag Real Top Gun. The Blackbird was a reconnaissance plane that operated from 1964 to 1998 and achieved a record speed of Mach 3.3 or over 2,000 miles per hour. The Blackbird was also famous for its stealth features, which allowed it to evade enemy detection and missiles. Some experts believe that Lockheed's tweet might be a subtle reference to the SR 72, a hypersonic aircraft rumored to be the successor to the Blackbird. Lockheed's purposeful mention of the SR 71 as the world's fastest acknowledged aircraft seemingly suggests that a faster unacknowledged aircraft may exist. The SR-72 Dark Star is an exciting development in our time, representing the most advanced sixth-generation fighting aircraft. This aircraft is poised to be the successor of the SR-71 Blackbird, which was a legendary reconnaissance plane it operated from 1964 to 1998. The SR-72 Dark Star aims to surpass its predecessor in every aspect, especially in terms of stealth, speed, and firepower. When the U.S. Air Force retired the iconic SR-71 Blackbird in 1998, it marked the end of an era for high-speed, long-range, high-altitude crewed aircraft dedicated to intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. This departure left a significant void in the nation's defense capability as the SR-71 had been unparalleled in its ability to swiftly gather crucial information across vast expanses. In response to the retirement of the SR-71, the Pentagon adapted to a new era of intelligence gathering. It increasingly relied on a combination of satellite technology, unmanned aerial vehicles, and the emergence of fifth-generation stealth aircraft. These technologies played a crucial role in filling the void left by the SR-71's absence, allowing for the continued surveillance and reconnaissance needs of the U.S. military. However, the global security landscape continued to evolve. The proliferation of anti-satellite weapons, the development of anti-access area denial strategies, and the advancement of counter-stealth technologies presented new challenges and vulnerabilities. These developments raised concerns among defense planners about the ability to effectively gather intelligence and conduct surveillance in contested or protected airspace. To address these challenges, Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, renowned for its history of cutting-edge aerospace innovations, reportedly initiated the development of a hypersonic unmanned aerial vehicle around 2007. The concept was clear. Create an aircraft that could travel at hypersonic speeds defined as Mach 5 and above. Such an aircraft would be capable of penetrating heavily defended airspace, evading enemy air defenses, and swiftly gathering crucial intelligence. In 2013, Lockheed Martin officially 
unveiled its progress confirming the development of a twin scramjet engine aircraft known as the SR-72. This aircraft, colloquially referred to as the Son of Blackbird, was designed with a cruise speed of Mach 6, which translates to approximately 4,604 miles per hour. The SR-72 represented a bold step forward in the quest to re-establish high-speed, high-altitude ISR capabilities, reminiscent of the legendary SR-71 Blackbird that had served the nation so effectively for decades. The SR-72 is a project that has been shrouded in mystery and speculation for years. Lockheed Martin first revealed the concept of the SR-72 in 2013, claiming that it would be a game-changing aircraft that could perform both reconnaissance and strike missions at unprecedented speeds and stealth levels. The SR-72 would use a dual-mode scramjet engine that could switch between subsonic and supersonic modes, enabling it to fly at speeds of Mach 10, or over 7,500 miles per hour. The SR-72 would also have advanced stealth technology and weaponry, such as lasers and hypersonic missiles. However, Lockheed Martin has not confirmed whether the SR-72 is actually in development or planning stages. The company has only released some conceptual images and vague statements about the project without providing any concrete details or timelines. Some analysts suggest that the SR-72 might be a cover for a more classified program or that it might be a long-term vision that is not feasible in the near future. Others argue that the SR-72 might be closer to reality than expected and that Lockheed Martin might be using its tweets and other media outlets to hint at its progress and capabilities. What sets the SR-72 Dark Star apart from other fighter jets are its incredible stealth technology, impressive propulsion system, and mind-blowing speed, which surpasses that of fifth-generation fighters. The stealth technology of the SR-72 Dark Star is based on a combination of radar-absorbing materials, low observable design features, and electronic warfare capabilities. These features allow the aircraft to evade detection by enemy sensors and radars, making it virtually invisible in the sky. The propulsion system of the SR-72 Dark Star is also remarkable as it uses a dual-mode scramjet engine that can operate in both subsonic and supersonic speeds. A scramjet engine is a type of jet engine that compresses air by using the speed of the vehicle rather than using a fan or a compressor. This allows the engine to achieve very high speeds as it does not have any moving parts that can limit its performance. The dual-mode scramjet engine of the SR-72 Dark Star can switch between a conventional turbine mode and a scramjet mode depending on the flight conditions. The speed of the SR-72 Dark Star is reportedly very astonishing, as it can reach speeds of up to Mach 10, which is over 7,500 miles per hour. This means that the aircraft could fly from New York to London in less than an hour, or from Los Angeles to Tokyo in less than two hours. The speed of the SR-72 Dark Star also gives it an advantage over enemy defenses, as it can outrun any missile or interceptor that tries to shoot it down. This aircraft boasts cutting-edge weaponry, including including a precise laser system and hypersonic missiles, ensuring its dominance on the modern battlefield. The laser system of the SR-72 Dark Star is a directed energy weapon that can target and destroy enemy vehicles, buildings, or personnel with pinpoint accuracy. Hypersonic missiles of the SR-72 Dark Star are weapons that can travel faster than Mach 5, which is five times the speed of sound. These missiles are extremely difficult to intercept or counter, as they can maneuver unpredictably and deliver devastating payloads. Hypersonic aircraft have always been a focus in the U.S. military's pursuit of technological superiority. Lockheed Martin, a well-known aerospace manufacturer responsible for iconic aircraft like the F-35 Lightning II and the stealthy F-117 Nighthawk, has consistently pushed the boundaries of aviation. The SR-72 Dark Star is their latest and most ambitious project, which aims to create a revolutionary aircraft that can perform both reconnaissance and strike missions at unprecedented and its speeds and stealth levels. The fighter's most remarkable feature is its artificial intelligence, enabling it to command a group of drones. These drones are not ordinary ones, but advanced machines that can perform different roles depending on the situation. There are two types of drones that the fighter can control. First, reconnaissance drones with precise radars covering a 46 square mile area. These drones are equipped with stealth technology and can fly at high altitudes, making them hard to detect by enemy sensors. They can scan the surrounding airspace 
base and relay the information back to the fighter in real time. With 40 drones spread around the perimeter, they form an impenetrable zone stretching almost 3,000 miles, allowing for maximum detection range and situational awareness. When an aircraft is spotted, the second type of drone comes into play, the attacking drone. These drones are designed to swiftly engage and eliminate any threats using their outstanding accuracy and firepower. They can carry a variety of weapons such as missiles, lasers, or electromagnetic pulses depending on the target and the mission. The attacking drones can also coordinate their actions with each other and with the fighter, creating a formidable force that can overwhelm any enemy. The combination of the fighter and the drones is a revolutionary concept that changed the future of aerial warfare. The fighter can act as a leader, a strategist and a protector for the drones, while the drones can act as scouts, allies, and weapons for the fighter. Together, they can achieve unprecedented levels of performance and efficiency, making them the ultimate air superiority system. In the movie Maverick, the SR-72 aircraft bears a striking resemblance to a concept rendering found on Lockheed Martin's official website. Notably, it even features the iconic Skunk Works logo on its tail, a clear nod to Lockheed's renowned advanced development programs, which have been responsible for many groundbreaking aerospace innovations. However, there is a notable discrepancy in the design of the cockpit windows. In the film, the SR-72 has windows designed for a pilot, implying a crewed aircraft. Yet, in reality, the SR-72 concept is intended to be an uncrewed aircraft, obviating the need for a cockpit or windows. This discrepancy raises intriguing questions about whether the movie's portrayal is more than just cinematic embellishment and whether it might hint at classified developments in aerospace technology. Adding to the mystery, when questioned by The Debrief, Lockheed Martin officials did not rule out the possibility that the company might have a secretive aircraft akin to the Dark Star capable of high-altitude hypersonic surveillance lurking in the shadows of the classified world. Such a revelation would suggest that advanced military Military technologies might be more advanced and secretive than commonly believed. Lockheed's involvement with the film Top Gun Maverick extends beyond mere inspiration. The company's Skunk Works division, known for its cutting-edge aircraft designs, took the task of designing the film's Dark Star aircraft quite seriously. In fact, they went as far as building a full-scale mock-up of the proposed Mach 10 capable jet. This level of commitment to the film's authenticity underscores the intriguing possibility that Lockheed Martin may be harboring classified knowledge and advanced technologies far beyond what is publicly known. Jerry Bruckheimer, the producer and filmmaker behind Top Gun Maverick, revealed that the SR-72 mock-up was so convincing that it led to rumors that China had reoriented one of its spy satellites to capture images of the aircraft during filming. If true, this would further underscore the blurred lines between fiction and reality in the realm of advanced aerospace technology. Bruckheimer, speaking to Sandbox News in 2022, said, The Navy told us that a Chinese satellite turned and headed on a different route to photograph the plane. They thought it was real. That's how real it looks. Whether the SR-72 exists or not, the interest in hypersonic aircraft is real. Hypersonic aircraft are vehicles that can fly faster than Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound. This means that they can travel at speeds of over 3,800 miles per hour or cover a distance of one mile in less than a second. Hypersonic aircraft have many potential applications and advantages, such as faster transportation, greater military capabilities, and better access to space. The European company Destinus is working on a hybrid hypersonic plane that combines hydrogen-fueled, air-breathing turbojet engines for takeoff, landing, and flights at various speeds. It also includes a rocket engine for hypersonic speeds. The plane is called the Destinus HX-1, and it's designed to carry up to 50 passengers or 10 tons of cargo. The Destinus HX-1 could fly from London to New York in less than an hour or from Paris to Tokyo in less than two hours. The company claims that the plane would be environmentally friendly as it would use hydrogen as its main fuel source and emit only water vapor as a byproduct. Hypersonic missiles are gaining attention too. Hypersonic missiles are weapons that can travel faster than Mach 5 and maneuver unpredictably in flight. These missiles are extremely difficult to intercept or counter as they can evade existing missile defense systems and deliver devastating payloads. Several countries are developing or deploying hypersonic missiles such as Russia, China, India, and the United States. Russia has used its Kinzhal missiles 
to strike command centers in Ukraine. These highly maneuverable air-launched missiles travel at Mach 5 to avoid defenses. The Kinzhal missiles are carried by MiG-31 fighter jets, which can launch them from a distance of over 1,000 miles away from the target. The Kinzhal missiles can carry either conventional or nuclear warheads and have a range of over 1,200 miles. Meanwhile, China is reportedly deploying hypersonic missiles that could target U.S. bases in the Pacific if there were a conflict related to Taiwan. China has tested several types of hypersonic missiles, such as the DF-ZF and the DF-7. The DF-ZF, hypersonic glide vehicle that can fly at speeds of up to Mach 10 and carry multiple warheads. The DF-17 is a ballistic missile that can launch a hypersonic glide vehicle at speeds of up to Mach 12. Both missiles are capable of penetrating U.S. missile defenses and pose a serious threat to U.S. interest in the region. The Defense Intelligence Agency's head of science and technology recently noted China's significant progress in developing both conventional and nuclear-armed hypersonic missile technology. He also warned that China's hypersonic weapons could pose a challenge to U.S. strategic deterrence and stability in the future. Hypersonic aircraft and missiles are emerging technologies that have the potential to revolutionize aviation and warfare in the 21st century. They offer unprecedented speed, stealth, and agility, which could give an edge to whoever possesses them. However, they also pose many challenges challenges and risks, such as technical feasibility, ethical implications, and strategic consequences. The development and deployment of hypersonic vehicles could have profound implications for global security and geopolitics, as well as for human exploration and discovery. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section below.